Yo, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another What If video. And in today's Sonic What If video, we will be doing part one of What If Amy Dies During the Events of Sonic CD. Now, um, this was suggested to me a while ago by a fan, that being Eight Man Studios. I'm pretty sure it was just to me a while ago, and I'm pretty sure I've seen your name. Pretty much, he suggested me this idea, which I really like this idea as well, on how the overall aftermath would be. How would this affect Sonic? How would this affect everything going forward? How would uh, this change, like, say, during Sonic Adventure 1, 2, Sonic Hero, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic 06, The Advanced Trilogy, Sonic Battle? Who would replace AB during all of those? And how would the aftermath of AB's death play as and she would no longer be there? Find out today's what if video, at least part one of that. But before we go ahead and get into this, make sure you guys go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below what you guys think would happen if Amy ended up dying during the next Sonic CD. And also, I want to uh, say this as well. If you guys want to leave uh, comments for future Sonic what ifs, make sure you guys go ahead and leave it in the comment section down below. As if you do, I'm more than likely will adapt it at some point. So you guys uh, heads up about that. But after ado, let's go ahead and dive into this what if. Start our story off in the mere beginnings of Sonic CD. At this point in time, Sonic has arrived at the little planet and has gone ahead and gone through Palm Tree Panic. However, throughout the entire time, Amy has been following Sonic this entire time, much to Sonic's annoyance. With Sonic getting more annoyed due to the fact that he's having to watch Amy during this huge, dangerous uh, planet that Eggman's been capturing on, forcing him to dodge Eggman robots will also have to protect Amy. Sonic getting annoyed as Amy continues following him all the way to Collision Chaos and I'm saying, Look, I don't want to be rude or anything, but you should not be following me around here, alright? Right? Due to the fact that there's multiple Eggman robots going around, and you could potentially get captured, hurt by one. Seriously, you need to get out of here before something bad happens. However, uh, before Sonic can finish his sentence, Metal Sonic ends up coming through and grabs Amy by the neck. Sonic is taken off guard with this, and this time, rather than letting Metal Sonic just come in and capture Amy, Sonic would decide to actually try to fight back. Sonic would go in for a spin dash, forcing Metal Sonic to dodge. However, Sonic would use a piece of rubble and would jump up and would hit Metal Sonic in the face, causing Metal Sonic to accidentally essentially tighten his grip on Amy as a response, and thus would actually end up killing Amy right in front of Sonic as he breaks her neck, shocking Sonic as he stares at Metal Sonic in horror at the fact that he just killed an innocent person. Sonic then looks as Amy's body falls to the ground, him going over to check on her, and she is in fact dead. Sonic death glares Metal Sonic with him saying, y You monster! And would spin dash into Metal Sonic. However, Metal Sonic would retaliate using his black shield protecting him. And would throw Sonic down to the ground. However, Sonic would go ahead and follow it up with a kick to the face. And would punching Metal Sonic. However, Metal Sonic would retaliate as well using his claws scratching Sonic's back. Sonic would quickly get back out of power. And would spin dash into Metal Sonic. And would quickly use a piece of rubber to prepare himself. And would throwing Metal Sonic down to the ground. Followed up by another spin dash. Metal Sonic struggles to get up, however. However, he ends up using his black shield to protect himself as Sonic goes in for another spin dash. However, Sonic would manage to get back up after being thrown down to the ground and went up punching Metal Sonic in the face and kicked him in the chest. However, Metal Sonic, realizing that he should probably go ahead and get away and inform the doctor of this recent development, would quickly go ahead and get away. As Sonic turns his attention back to the dead Amy Rose, he's not sure what to do next and he's horrified at what just happened, with him blaming himself for letting Amy die, as he realizes that if he acted sooner or if he essentially did something else, perhaps she, she'd still be alive. Granted, yes, she was annoying, but Sonic didn't want her to die. Sonic's not sure what to do. He realizes he's going to need to do something, though. However, Sonic thinks for a moment and decides that if Metal Sonic decides to kill someone, he's going to need some extra help. And thus, Sonic decides to contact two friends that he recently got on with Adventure with, specifically escaping Eggman's Island. Those two people being Mighty the Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel. Sonic informs the duo of the situation at hand and explains to them Eggman's newest creation, Metal Sonic, and explains to them how Metal Sonic ended up killing an innocent person. Needless to say, the two of them are shocked and horrified at the fact that Eggman's new machine did that, and thus the two of them form Sonic that they'll head their way to Little Planet right now. And after a little bit, they manage to arrive and they arrive at Collision Chaos where they see the dead Amy Rose. Both Mighty and Ray are shocked with Mighty asking, So, is that. Yeah. That's the person Metal Sonic killed. Did, did you know her name? I think her name is Amy Rose. Well, why was she following you? She apparently did 14 cards and thought I was her boyfriend. And she ended up following me up here. And she got caught by Metal Sonic. And when I attempted to fight back, Metal Sonic ended up breaking her neck. Oh, oh. Yeah, 
I blame myself. Listen, it's not your fault. Yes, it is. If I would have told her or forced her to stay down there or would have told her to leave earlier, she she wouldn't have died. What, what do you suggest we do? We need to stop Eggman now. He's right. We can't let Eggman get away with this. So what's he going after? The time stones. Time stones, huh? So let me guess. You try to control little planet? Yep. All right. I'll we'll be out, Big Blue. Yeah, don't worry. He won't get away with us. You're right. We need to stop him. And the Sonic, Mighty, and Ray begin to make their way through the zone and clear through collision chaos, defeating Eggman's bot. And while that's happening as well, Metal Sonic ends up watching from the shadows, planning his next course of action with Dr. Robotic saying, Good work, Metal Sonic. Although that mm, pink hedgehog's out of the way, we still have to worry about a mighty armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirt not making appearance. However, it seems by you doing that, we may have cracked Sonic a little bit, cracked through his defenses, metal defenses. So, keep it up, and let's see how far we can push him. Metal Sonic gets him down his head to the doctor, and begins to follow after Sonic, Mighty, and Ray. The heroes arrive at Tidal Tempest, and begin to make their way through the zone. However, Metal Sonic is following the entire time, waiting for his next course of action, and waiting for the right time to strike. Sonic, Mighty, and Ray manage to go ahead and nab another time stone. At this point in time, they have access to around three time stones, and thus they're making their way through the zone. However, as shortly as is about to make the way to the end of the zone, Metal Sonic makes his appearance known. Sonic glares at Metal Sonic and says, You're gonna pay for what you did to her. However, Metal Sonic is simply scoffing. However, Mighty went to mess. So did he talk? No. Very well then. Let's show him his boss. Mighty would attempt to spin dash. However, Metal Sonic would dodge the attack and kick Mighty in the face, catching him off guard. However, Ray would attempt to fight back, only for Ray to get caught as well and be thrown into the, done into the ground. However, Sonic would spin dash in the middle, followed by Mighty punching Metal Sonic in the face. Once this, Ray would be using his own spin dash. Mighty would have asked him, Is he as fast as you? Yeah, he is. Crap. And thus, Mighty would go for another spin dash. Alongside this, Sonic would have kicked Metal Sonic in the face, and Ray would have punched Metal Sonic as well. However, Metal Sonic ends up getting back up and is a mean Ray in the chest. Alongside this, ends up throwing Sonic onto the ground. However, Mighty ends up using his strength and throws Metal onto the ground, so picking up a piece of rubble. Alongside this, ends up grabbing more pieces of rubble and throws him in Metal Sonic, damaging him. However, Metal Sonic ends up getting back up and glares at Mighty. He ends up using his rockets and goes to Mighty right there, grabbing him by the neck and getting choked him. However, Mighty ends up headbutting Metal Sonic as well, as I'm saying, You're not gonna do to me what you did to that girl. And this Mighty would spin dash into Metal Sonic, catching him on guard. However, Metal Sonic would get back up as well. As Mighty goes for another spin dash, Metal uses his black shield. So as Mighty is now thrown back, as Metal Sonic gets using his claws, scratching Mighty's leg. Mighty ends up falling under one knee, and before Metal Sonic can continue to attack, however, Sonic comes in spin dashing into him. And once this Ray ends up grabbing Metal Sonic and throws him into a wall. However, Metal Sonic ends up kicking Ray in the face, only for Sonic to punch, Ma only for Sonic to punch Metal Sonic. And once this Mighty would spin dash into Metal Sonic. However, Metal Sonic quickly gets back up, however, uses his boosters, and manages to grab Mighty as well, and picks him up, and throws him into the air, and throws him down to the ground. However, Sonic has a new opportunity to spin dash him, as does Ray. Thus, Metal Sonic is getting get, get overwhelmed, it's due to the fact being a 3-on-1 fight, instead of it being a 1-on-1 -on -one fight. However, Metal Sonic is not going down to the fight. Ray, when abusing his tail, begin to fly up in the air, and grab Metal Sonic, and throw him down to the ground. However, Metal Sonic uses his boosters, and his rocket, and this one backfiring on Ray as Mighty E. Also ends up getting thrown up to the air alongside with Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic grabs the two and throws him down to the ground head first, nearly knocking the two of them out cold. However, Sonic spin dashes into Metal Sonic as well. Mighty manages to get back up, however, and just picking his dribbled and throws him at Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic quickly realizes that if he doesn't retreat now, he's going to leave. And it's because he's going to contact the doctor and would, and would essentially tell him essentially how if he continues to fight, he's going to lose. Eggman begrudgingly would have saying, Very well, retreat. Maybe at Stardust Speedway. Metal Sonic would nodding his head and fly up to start the speedway. However, Mighty Ray and Sonic would attempt to prevent him from leaving, only for Metal Sonic to kick them both in the face and would have punching Sonic, allowing him to escape. Sonic would have helping both Mighty and Ray up with the mask, with Mighty saying, Wow, he's as strong as you and as fast as you. Yeah, I know. Jeez. We need to come up with a plan. They said they're heading to start a speedway. Very well then, and that's where we're heading off to. From there, the three of them managed to head off and managed to clear through zone and through zone. Alongside the way, they managed to get another time stone as, uh, time stone as well, allowing them to be at four time stones. And thus, the trio arrive at Stardust Speedway. And while that's happening as well, Metal Sonic gets a watch from the shadows, waiting for his uh, next course of action to strike. With Eggman saying, 
Stay on guard, Middle Sonic. They'll confront you again soon, and pretty soon you'll have a rematch with them, and you can get to your revenge. With Middle Sonic nodding his head as he flies off, watching as three of them make their way through Stardust Speedway. Sonic, Mighty, and Ray make their way to the end of the zone. And this one time, they also managed to grab another time stone. Now there are five time stones. However, as they make their way to the end of the zone, Metal Sonic appears before them once again. The three of them immediately get into a defensive stance, ready for Metal Sonic to strike. However, the floor behind them begins to fall, and they end up turning around, and they see Dr. Eggman with a new machine with him laughing, saying, I suggest you keep moving forward. And thus, Sonic, Mighty, and Ray clearly realize that what's about to happen, and they have to move forward. Thus, the three of them begin running, with Metal Sonic falling after them, with them quickly realizing, It's a race! Very well then, we have to beat him. And the three of them begin to go into action. Ray ends up grabbing a two and flies in the air, and they're throwing them at Metal Sonic, allowing him to spin dash into Metal Sonic, allowing him to also get caught by Eggman's laser for having not fully damaging him, though he is badly damaged. How he manages to get back up and then just to boost her after them. And before Ray can go in for a spin dash of his own, Metal Sonic uses black chain only for my to grab a piece of rubber and throws it at Metal Sonic, throwing him down to the ground. I want to the Sonic with spin dash in the middle on the ground and kick him in the face. However, Metal quickly gets back up and uses his boosters and boosts it after them. However, all three of them managed to dodge all Metal's attacks as well, as Metal grabs pieces of rubble, it attempts to punch and kicks them, and uses his claw. However, the three of them are managing to keep up their attacks alongside this as well, with there being a very speed-focused battle, and split second attacks being thrown. It eventually gets to the point where Mighty and Ray are struggling to keep up, as Sonic and Metal Sonic are showering each other with split second attacks. Mighty and Ray's in this as well, and comes with the idea, Sonic, we need to, we need to get out, figure out a way for Metal to lose speed. He's attacking us with split second attacks. You're right. You have an idea? I do. Lead him to me. Sonic ends up nodding his head, and while that's happening as well, Mighty grabs a big piece of rubble. Alongside this, Mighty appears a big piece of rubble, as will Sonic and Ray lead Metal Sonic to Mighty. And this, once Metal Sonic falls through the trap, Mighty quickly throws a giant piece of rubble and throws it on Metal Sonic, damaging him even more, allowing Ray to get a spin action alongside this as well. Metal Sonic for you guys, if he doesn't do something right now, he has a high chance of getting destroyed. And that's because of Metal Sonic continues to fall after them, have a Sonic really spin dash into him. Metal begins to get more and more desperate as he does he gets to do something now, he loses. However, it gets to a point where Metal realizes it's too late, and Sonic spin out him and throws him directly into the laser, catching Metal Sonic off guard, however, he barely manages to avoid it. Metal Sonic is realizes they're trying to destroy him. However, Mighty comes out of nowhere and grabs him, throws him down to the ground, and ends up tearing off both his arms with his bare strength, catching Metal Sonic off guard. However, Metal Sonic realizes he needs to get away now, as is Eggman, horrified that Mighty just did that. However, Ray ends up flying to this guy and grabbing Metal Sonic's leg and throws him down to the ground and saying, Yeah, I don't think so. And alongside this, Sonic will quickly spin dash into Metal Sonic alongside this, damaging Metal Sonic more and more. And Metal Sonic is beginning to get more and more desperate and he realizes he needs to do something now. Alright, once again, before we can leave with his boosters, Mighty damages the boosters into throwing Metal Sonic down to the ground, ripping off one of his legs. Metal Sonic is essentially now bouncing on one leg, and quickly realizes it's over, as the blazer is going towards Metal Sonic, completely destroying him, thus killing Metal Sonic, catching F-Man off guard. Alongside this, Sonic, Mighty, and Ray are realizing now they have a huge advantage, and thus the three to turn to Eggman. Eggman realizes that if he doesn't do something now, he's going to eventually get defeated as well. Thus, Eggman immediately retreats away, now realizing that Metal Sonic has been destroyed, and he now realizes he needs to do something quick. And thus, he's pulling up models for another robot he had in mind for a while now, specifically when he builds the Death Egg, that being Silver Sonic. Although Eggman realizes he's not ready yet, he realizes if he doesn't do something right now, it's, he's going to get destroyed, and thus he deploys the prototype of Silver Sonic. He knows it's not going to be able to destroy them, but at the very least for now, it should at the very least distract them. While that's happening as well, Sonic, Mighty, and Ray approach the remains of Metal Sonic, with Mighty saying, He's gone. Should be good for now. Yeah, should be easier. Right. And thus, because of this, the three of them finally managed to get their way through Stardust Speedway, and thus managed to go through the remaining zones. At this point in time, managed to get two more time stones, and thus they quickly head after Eggman, ready to approach him for the final battle. However, up and the three of them, Silver Sonic is also waiting for them there. From there, the heroes arrive at Metallic Madness and manage to clear their way through the zone and confront Eggman. However, Eggman has a few more tricks up his sleeve as someone laughing, saying, I must admit, I'm quite impressed you made it this far. However, I'm not done just yet. As Eggman's pushing a button, and out comes the Egg Spinner. Alongside this, the prototype of Silver Sonic. Sonic went up scoffing and asking, So is this Metal Sonic's replacement? Well, yes, I was planning on using it for a while now, but none of that in mind, but since you destroyed Metal Sonic, I'm afraid I'm going to have to make do with what I have, even if it's nowhere near finished, but I need an assistant to help me out with this. I'm not even saying, well then bring it on, Egghead. 
with pleasure. In the Sonic Mighty and Ray form a plan, Sonic decides that he'll go ahead and take on Silver Sonic, while Mighty and Ray take on the x spin and thus he agrees. Sonic immediately charges uh, Silver Sonic with a spin dash. However, Silver Sonic retaliates his own spin dash, though not as powerful, and Sonic fully realizes this, then saying, Man, this is gonna be a cakewalk. And the Sonic will be spin dashes into Silver Sonic. However, Silver Sonic manages to retaliate and punches Sonic in the face, sending him flying back. Alongside this, he attempts to fly up and stomp on Sonic. However, Sonic manages to move out of the way. Alongside this as well, Mighty and Rare in the middle of fighting the X Spinner. Mighty uses his strength to try to catch the X Spinner, however, only for four blades to come out of it, catching the two of them off guard. Forcing them to dodge out of the way as Brains are grabbing Mighty and Man just dodge out of the way, flying out of the way, throwing Mighty into the machine, allowing him to spin dash into it. Alongside this, when Eggman retracts the blades, Mighty uses his opportunity to break off one of the X Spinner's blades alongside this one to distract him. And thus, Eggman now has three. However, he attempts to lower it down to the ground and crush them. However, Mighty uses his bare strength to hold it back up as well. And while Eggman is spin dash into it. And what's happening as well, Sonic has continued to fight Silver Sonic. The two of them going for spin dash split second attacks. However, Silver Sonic is leading the entire route. Due to again not being nowhere near finished, in the Sonic will be spin dashing into it. And the Silver Sonic struggles to get back up. I have a Sonic now wanting to give it a uh, light of day. And I'm turning to Mighty saying, Mighty, do you think we could grab a piece of rubble? Yeah, I think they can. And this Mighty could go ahead and grab a piece of rubble and manage to throw it at Silver Sonic, completely destroying it as well, alongside Metal Sonic. Eggman now pissed off him saying, Great, first Metal Sonic, now Silver Sonic. Great, just what I needed. And this Eggman ends up using the X-Spinner as well, only for another one of its blades to get it destroyed as Sonic spin dash into it, followed up by Mighty using the Untrue, damaging another one. Eggman is now beginning to get more and more desperate as he realizes that if he doesn't do something now, he's going to lose and a little planet will be gone. Alongside this, he knows that all the heroes have the set of time stones, and thus he realizes that if he doesn't make his tree now, he's going to get captured. And thus, Eggman will quickly devise a plan to retreat. However, Mighty will say, Yeah, no. And thus, Eggman is destroyed another one of the Egg Spinner's blades, only leaving with one left. Eggman realizes that now he has to get away. And thus, Eggman quickly gets a cheap shot on all of them, quickly allowing him to get away, retreating off a little planet, and he's quickly making his way to another secret base. And while that's happening as well, Sonic, Mighty, and Ray manage to go ahead and destroy the remaining Egg spinner blade and while it's happening as well little planet begins to turn back to normal thus the three of them quickly make their way off it and arrive on the ground as little planet uh ends up heading back off into space now having been removed of the chain alongside this Sonic manages to carry the dead amy rose's body and lays her on the ground mighty and rain are watching in silence mighty and sebastian what what do we do with her i'm not not sure well, we can't just leave it here. You're right. And the Sonic, Mighty, and Ray quickly go ahead and find a place to put the dead Amy Rose, to put her to rest. And while that's happening as well, Eggman devises a new plan. He realizes he needs to do something quick and fast. And thus, Eggman, after uh, deciding for a while, decides that he needs to quickly go ahead and go after the Chaos Emeralds again. Luckily for him, he managed to recently find the Red Chaos Emerald. And thus, leading out into Sonic Chaos and stuff like that. And also, heads up as well, uh, for future games as well, I'll get into that in a second. So, future games, the classic era, since uh, it's not really going to matter, since Amy was not even a majority of the classic era, the only stuff that she was really in was stuff like Sonic R, Sonic the Fighters, pretty much Mighty and Ray would pretty much take her places there, alongside the upcoming Sonic Superstars. Pretty much Mighty and Ray replaced Amy alongside her as well, since Mighty wouldn't be involved in the events of Sonic Chaos 2, 3, and Knuckles, and Knuckles Chaotix. Well, Mighty is as well, maybe Ray might be involved in that. Uh, it won't be involved in Sonic 3D Blast, Sonic Blast, but just know games that have Amy in it, such as, say, Sonic R, Sonic the Fighters, uh, upcoming Sonic Superstars, just let it know both Mighty and Ray will be there and replace Amy's role there. Again, I'm doing over this because it's not really much to change. Just a heads up on that as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you thought of part one, and get a hype for part two as part two will be stepping into Sonic Adventure territory. So get after that, guys. But I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment down below if you thought of it. Huge shout out to Inkman Studios for suggesting me this idea. And I'll see you all in the next one.